Dear Priscilla, this past week was quite a roller coaster. It started out peacefully watching tropical birds out my window, then it ended with quite a splash. Monday, we learned more about welding from Gallo. Tuesday, we did physical therapy at the old folks' home and then worked at Gallo's house. I was sweeping inside most of the day. When Friday rolled around, that's when the party really started. Danny, our IMED instructor and good friend, took us to the Nate Saint house. It was like you could breathe the history in that house. It was oddly surreal to be standing in the kitchen where six courageous women got the news that their husbands and brothers had been killed while answering the call of God. After meeting Minkaye, it was even more surreal. Being able to interface with his family and understand his situation, and then come to this place where the story began for the Saint family, and then all, of course, meeting generations of people who have been affected by their story, from Shell and from all around the world. It was like being able to physically see God's hand move and touch lives for his glory. We couldn't stay in the historical part of the house for long because we had a party to decorate for in the other half of the Nate Saint house. Abigail, Danny's adorable daughter, had a pink owl themed party for her second birthday complete with candy, a lot of familiar faces, and of course, a pinata. I loved watching all of these young kids at the party interact, some offspring of Shell itself, and some missionary kids from the States. Their awkward shyness and the barrier of different cultural contexts just melted away into teamwork, smiles, and lots of sharing. It kind of made me wish that all Christians could come to the conclusion of, hey, we're all kids of the kingdom here. Let's take down this giant pinata of global evangelism together. I don't care if we don't share the exact same doctrine or if there's a language barrier. Let's just be children of God and work together to glorify our Father. I believe joy would overflow in the lives of many a discouraged and bogged down mission if we could evangelize like these children could play. Still, witnessing this generation play in this room while just on the other side of the door lies the story of why their parents and grandparents were called here makes me so thankful to be in Shell. As Abby fell asleep on my shoulder, I thought of how extremely privileged I am to have been written a part, however small, in this ongoing story. Everyone loves a chocolate fountain. Misael's party at the Nuevo Casa de Galo was a hit. Between the sweets, the fresh grilled meat, and the heated pool, everyone had a lot of fun. I ended up being in the pool for quite a while, keeping the young girls swimming while the boys roughed house around us. When it came time for cake, Misael kept everyone entertained. The Ecuadorian tradition for birthdays is much like the wedding cake tradition we have in the States. The birthday boy or girl has to bite into the cake, usually while someone holding the cake tries to shove it up their nose. Misael is only turning one, so we didn't try to suffocate him with chocolate this year. On Sunday afternoon, we hung out with Pablo, Jason, Christian, and Jefferson. They took us to Moravia, the town in between Shell and Mara. From there, we hiked down to the river. I really regretted not wearing pants on that outing because of the mosquitoes, but wading through that cold water, I was really thankful to have flip-flops and shorts. 
We waded up to a deep place in the river with a short cliff on one side, and then took turns climbing it and jumping off. Boyce broke out his waterproof camera and took a few shots. After about 20 minutes swimming, the inevitable rain began to fall, so we walked along the river till we reached the bridge that crosses back over into Shell. On this opposite side, there was another cliff, this time around 35 feet tall. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you can get past the rocks. That's a car, Okay. The guys all took turns once more, jumping off. Boyce was a little hesitant to let me jump, but after watching the guys jump like multiple times, I said, I want to turn. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! <laughs> if you can't tell, I had a really good time. This week, I may have a really short video update because we're learning iFix and getting ready for our jungle trip. So Priscilla, I'll update you on Saturday.